Hi and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours of HUD homes in and around the San Antonio and Houston area. I've been specializing in HUD homes since 1996 and in 2012 I started filming real virtual tours like the one you're about to watch. HUD regularly offers incentives to buyers like the $100 down payment program and 50% off for certain buyers. So connect with me by clicking on one of our social media links or if you're watching this video on YouTube, click the subscribe button to be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in San Antonio in the East Kelly neighborhood and we are standing in front of 208 Clarendon. That's 208 Clarendon. This is a three bedroom, two bath home, approximately 2,412 square feet. It was built in 1940. The home sits on a nice corner lot. The lot is about 10,500 square feet. So it's a really large lot there. It's not a garage, but you do have this covered area here and a little exterior structure now this home has had several modifications and additions to it. That's why it's so big, but it does need quite a bit of work. The good news is it's about $12,000 underneath the county appraisal. So as you can see, it does have a nice corner lot, but it will need some repairs. There's quite a bit of exterior wood rot around the exterior. So you're going to want to come back and replace a lot of that. If we come into the lot here, you notice you have a little structure there, probably quarters. I wasn't able to get inside, unfortunately. The lock was not working, but if you're interested, we can definitely try to coordinate getting you inside. You'll notice a lot of the siding around the side here has some rot, but a large, large piece of property, about double the normal size. So we're gonna try to do a 360. Some of the neighbors do have dogs, so it's, they might come out and bark, but just ignore that. So we come to the back of the home. This is one of the doors that brings you to the outside here. And then as we make a full 360 around to this side, there's a little storage shed, a little closet for your water heater, another <laughs> enclosure here. And then we come around a full 360 to this side. So you can see quite a bit of wood rot that'll need to be repaired. And there are actually a few different ways to get inside the home. You have this door here that can take you inside. And if we come around back, we have this door here. So we're going to actually walk into the home through this door. Well, as we walk in, this part here was probably initially an exterior uh, part of the home that they enclosed into, I guess, kind of like a living area. They had a little, probably a little faux fireplace here that was vented out through the roof there, but uh, that's since been removed. So you wanna do something with that to come back and put, put that in um, back in there. So when we turn to the left here, we have what probably was originally the garage, which has been enclosed. Now it's used sort of as a laundry room. You can tell there are washer and dryer connections in here. And then at this side of the home, we have kind of a little small room. So this could potentially be a bedroom. It has kind of a low ceiling, as you can tell. And then it has a door that takes you out to the backyard. You do have a little commode here. So this room actually has a commode, which is kind of interesting. And then we come around up to the front up here and it has an additional little kind of like a storage or a closet, if you will. So that could potentially be bedroom number one. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to really label the rooms here, but if we come out, up this ramp we are into what is most likely your dining room because it's right off of the kitchen you can see there is some ceiling damage here that will need to be repaired or replaced we have your big galley style kitchen now you can't really tell in the video but there is a little bit of um, foundation settling so you'll definitely want to probably have the foundation looked at let me see if I can kick on a light here and give you an idea of a little bit more of this kitchen because it is a little dark but you know, original cabinetry, original countertop, gas stove. We come over, there's, you know, potentially a little breakfast area in this little nook here. And then we are over into what is probably a living room right up front. And then if you were to use this as the living room, it could be a living room, it could be a closet. If we come over and look at this behind this door here, there is a closet, so this could potentially be a bedroom, kind of depending on how you want to use it. If we come in from here, then we have this room here, 
and more ceiling damage if you can see the ceiling is damaged here this could potentially be a living room because over here the side entrance this is that that side entrance that i showed you which is one of the ways to get into the home and you have this old uh, enclosure we come in if we use this as a living room or bedroom and then we have this room here that has a little bit of ceiling damage we step through here this is probably an addition and we step down there is a little bit of ceiling damage there and then we are back into your potential dining room. Now to the left here we have the full bath, which is a single vanity and a standalone shower only. It's probably a little dark in there. Let me see if I can get you some light. So it's the old style you know, shower only commode and sink. And then we are back into the living room. So HUD actually has this home listed as a two bathroom, but it really is just a one bathroom and you have a commode in this back bedroom. So that's about it. Home is interesting. Uh, it is, as I said, about $18,000. Uh, I'm sorry, it is about uh, $32,000 underneath the county appraisal, but it does need quite a bit of work. So let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 208 Clarendon. That's 208 Clarendon, an interesting three-bedroom, two-bath home. Actually, if we look at it again, it's actually a three-bedroom, one-and-a-half bath home because the third bedroom does not have a full bath. But the home is priced about $32,000 underneath the county appraisal, listed right now for only $90,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.